Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Motivational Mondays. This is going to be number five, and today we're going to be focusing on patterns. Now, the reason why I chose patterns is because it can go with anything in life. But before the video does start, I just want to wish you a very good day today. And if you are going through anything, such as something that's very stressful, that's really holding you back in life, or you're just having a bad day, just know your day can get better. And it can become, can things can get better. So getting right into it, the reason why I chose patterns is because, like I said, everywhere you look in life, there's a pattern to anything. Rather that be your daily routine or a piece of art or, you know, playing the game. There's always a pattern you're going to follow. And the reason why I brought it up is because it's always nice to implement new patterns into your routine, such as, let's say you wake up every morning, you brush your teeth, you shower, you do all this stuff. And, you know, there's many other things you could add into that routine, such as washing your face, you know, flossing, using mouthwash, eating healthy, eating breakfast. I mean, there's so many different things you could be doing to better yourself. And a lot of it is things that we don't even know about. And that's the crazy part about it. So, I mean, I'd recommend doing research and doing things which you can do to improve your quality of life. From the way I see it, it's all based on what's inside of you. So if you're sad or you're depressed and, you know, you don't feel good and your body hurts, all this stuff, it's based on what you do on a daily routine and what you put in your body on a daily routine, basically. So if you don't exercise, you don't eat healthy, and you sit here, you're just slamming pizza rolls or or something, you know, that that's not good for your body because long-term, that's going to affect you. So maybe you need to implement a new pattern into your life, you know? Eat something like a few fruits every other day or free vegetables, exercise a little bit, meditate. And that's another thing too. A lot of our emotions are based off of our brain. So if you're eating all these processed foods and stuff, it's causing an imbalance in your brain, causing all these other hormones to be produced. And the ones that you need, such as dopamine and so many other ones that make you happy, motivated, uplifted, and very ongoing in life, it, it makes them dormant in a sense. And sleep is a really big thing too. There's just a lot you could do. And one way that you can change your patterns, and this is one of the easiest ways you can start. It doesn't have to be directly right away because, you know, once you jump into something right away, bad things could happen, such as you don't follow through or things just doesn't work. So here's a few things I do to try to maintain a good pattern. I do it on my phone as well. So like I said a few videos ago, I write my gameplays that I get off my streams down. Um, but I also on my phone write down things of which I like to get through done through the day. And a lot of these things I try to do are daily things I try to implement in my life. And having something like that is very good because it teaches you self-discipline and it helps you understand your time a little bit better. And if you're struggling and if you feel like you're stuck, you know, just know you can, you can change it. Because look at it like this. You're the only one living your story, okay? We're all living different stories. I'm living my own story. You're living your own story. And when I was in college, I believe I said this last video, I learned about the hero's journey. And that really motivated me. And it made me understand that we're all on our own journey. We're all heroes in our own journey. And for you, for me, for all of us, we have these obstacles that just stand in front of us on a daily day basis. Sometimes they sideline you out of nowhere, just like a quarterback, man. You know, they, they hit you hard and knock you down. But what you want to do is you don't want to stay down. You want to get up. And when you get up, you want to go toward them barricades, them obstacles, them doors, them walls. And you just want to tear them down, slam them open because... It doesn't hurt to try. And if you fail, you just fail. That's it. Of course, you want to 
level your risk management in the situations, of course. But if you fail, it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience from what you did before to what you can do differently. For instance, let's say you're talking to a boy or a girl and you're very interested in them and you're so nervous and this person is your crush and you're like, oh my God, I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, what do I do? Don't freak out about it. Worst thing that could happen is the person isn't interested in you. So what? You know, you're one of a billion people on this planet. Think about that. You know, a lot of us have only been around a few thousand people. Some of us, a few hundred. I wouldn't even worry about having a soulmate in life. Things fall together when you least expect it. It's better to focus on yourself rather than focusing on, you know, making people see, what am I trying to say here? It's better to try and worry about yourself when it comes to understanding who you are. What I mean by that is when you're living your journey, when you're living your life, it's better to try to express yourself for who you are rather than putting on a mask and being somebody you're not. Because that mask can only go for so long until it falls off. And then the original you is going to be there. And if you're not right with yourself, especially when a situation like that happens, something weird's going to happen. And I don't, it, it's, it's just inevitable. Something weird will happen. So, yeah. <laughs> but if you are struggling with, you know, daily routines or implementing daily routines, literally grab your phone, go to your notes, write in to-do list, or get a draw on a race board or a piece of paper, have it somewhere in arm's length. Don't have it somewhere such as like a sticky note that you're just going to stick somewhere, you know, and just have it sit there or even put this in a drawer. Like you, you want to be able to see these things on a day-to-day -day basis to where you're like, oh, okay, so that's there. I need to do something about that, you know, or I need to make sure that gets done. And if you implement these things in your daily life, you will see an improvement in yourself. You will see an improvement in your discipline. You'll see an improvement in your efficiency of getting things done, your time management. Not just that, if you get a lot of these things all situated down and you're living by this book and you know, you're doing everything you can do for the greater good of yourself, a lot of things can happen. Literally, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about other people. You learn a lot about situations. It's so good to have patterns in your life. Essentially, if you have bad patterns, it's better to get rid of the bad patterns and slowly implement new patterns because most likely you're going to fall back on the bad patterns. So I believe that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you have a good day today. If you are struggling with anything in life, please, by all means, try your best because the worst thing that can happen is you fail. That's it. You fail. So what? It's a fail. Literally, you fail. That's it. So what do you do when you fall? You get back up. So, I mean, just get right back at it. Sometimes it may take a moment to understand the situation and look at it differently. That's all it takes. So you just use some critical thinking and just think about what you could do different. And when we get in these mindsets of, you know, wanting to become successful or wanting to become a billionaire, a millionaire, or an influencer, all this stuff, it's, it's not about your... What, what, like what I said, it's not about what's on the outside. It's, it's about what's on the inside, okay? Success, growth, um, everything in that area is based on who you are as a person, eternally, mentally. And if you embrace who you are out to the world to embrace your creativity, embrace what you're interested in, embrace what drives and motivates you on a daily basis, you will most certainly become a person which you never thought you could become in life. And that's the truth. That is the, the absolute truth. And if anyone was to go against you on that, just know they're, they're probably lost in their own trance because I've seen it. I'm doing it. Everyone else that's been successful or mentally successful is doing it. It's there. And the easiest ways to change it is your diet, your sleep, meeting and networking with people eating healthy, you know, just there's so much to it. And you never know if you just make one change here, 
it could probably flip the switch and a lot of things could start happening beneficially in your life. But yeah, I believe that's going to be it for today's video. I really do appreciate you stopping by. And like I said, if you have anything bothering you, just keep on trying. Don't give up. You fall, get back up, get it right back at it. Because the worst that can happen is that you get pushed back. But if you push back harder, you're most certainly going to break the walls. You're most certainly going to open the doors. And you are most certainly going to get over them barricades. I want to thank you for stopping by. It's been sweating. Hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you later. Stay safe. Stay awesome. I love you.